Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and it's going to be a quick preview to our Philadelphia Flyers facing off against an always tough opponent that is basically for a Philadelphia Flyers, an out of division rival at this point. Well, not at this point, has always been in the Boston Bruins. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the subscribe button or on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. I will be up in Reading today covering our ECHL affiliate for the great Flyers Nitty Gritty. Also follow everybody over there for some great Flyers, Royals, and Phantoms coverage. But let's get into this evening. The Bruins are 8-5-0 and with a plus-4 goal differential and a .615 point percentage with 16 points to our Philadelphia Flyers being 8-4-3 and with 19 points, a plus-2 goal differential, and a 6 Three three win per or points percentage, excuse me, um, at nineteen points and fourth, where they're behind the Rangers, who are third with twenty three points to our nineteen. Capitals twenty five points to our nineteen second, and then twenty six to our nineteen. Carolina in first. The Philadelphia Flyers are obviously in the division that looks like it's going to be a fight pretty much to the death to the end of the season type thing deal going between at least six people right now if more guys fall off because I doubt all seven to eight teams are going to stay in a relative closeness but I do see six at least staying in a very relative closeness through most of the season and that's going to make this division very exciting against the Boston Bruins who also have um, a division that's been very exciting this year, but in different reasons, mostly because of their top three being very heavy and the Detroit Red Wings and Buffalo Sabres getting off the better starts than expected. They don't have as deep of a division whatsoever. So I would say them being where they are right now at the 8-5 and five, to us being where we are right now, um, the Flyers are a little bit of the better overall team, in my opinion, coming into this game. When it comes to the overall lineups, the projected lineups are Marchand, Bergeron, Pasternak, obviously. Then you have Hall, Coyle, Felino, Jake DeBrusque, Halla, Craig Smith, Anton Blay, uh, Tomas Nosek, and Curtis Lazar as the fourth line. Derek Forbett, Charlie McAvoy is the first defense. Mac Rizlik and Carlo is the second. Mike Riley, who's a pretty solid uh, fill-in at least defenseman or third-line defenseman that's usually been underrated. Jacob Saboral as a third. And then it looks like Linus Allmark will get the start with Connor Clifton and Carson Kuhlman being their scratches. And Trent Frederick, according to this, still is out with his upper body injury. Um, Joel Fairby, Sean Couturier, and James Van Riemsdyk will be what we try to roll out today as our first line. Then Giroux, Broussard, Atkinson is the second. G's obviously been a menace on the ice to the other team this year, playing like an absolutely ridiculous talent. We all know he can play as and has played at in the past, like hence that 102-point season, and has always been a fantastic leader on the ice, no matter what his uh, production level has been. He's always just been one of those go a heavy motor guys that's a good lead by exampler and he's having great production this year to go with it then you got Limbrum, Lawton and Konechny on the third line uh that's a line that I feel like with TK and Limbrum maybe you can start getting Oscar going a little bit more obviously we're still waiting he got his first assist but he we're still waiting for him to get his first goal this season and then I feel like he can kind of take off in bunches and then Wilman, Thompson and McHugh and I actually like that fourth line because Thompson can win the face-offs. Obviously, he's the big face-off guy that plays still a solid defense penalty killer type game. McEwen's the great round and pound guy that also has offensive skill. And then Wilman can fly on the skates and has some great solid bottom six NHL level offense, where at the AHL level, he's an absolute wizard on the ice when it comes to offense. He's one of the best guys out there and still, in my opinion, hasn't even hit his peak yet and has earned all the opportunities he has got. So it's exciting to see him getting all these opportunities. Yvonne Provorov, Justin Braun, first line defense. Travis Sanheim, Rasmus for line and second line. And then Keith Yandel, Nick Sealer, third line defense, where it looks like Marty Jones is going to get the start. Where Ryan Ellis, Patrick Brown, and Kevin Hayes are all going to be out with injuries today. So, on Philadelphia Flyers, obviously, we had a very good game where it seemed like Jimmy Hayes was there with us in the building, beating the Calgary Flames and had a tough shootout loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning in a game that is just really turns out to come down to basically a breakaway competition at that point. That's why I don't like shootouts and I'm not the biggest fan of them. 
But in this game, if you play like you did with just the always battle back and never really get knocked down mentality you did against Toronto combined with the just more consistent level you played at in Calgary compared to throughout that Toronto game, you have more gaps of kind of falling off. Um, I believe the Flyers will be able to beat this Bruins team because the Flyers have been a very good team this year when it comes to responding to the tough losses. This has been a team that showed a lot of character fight this year. Whenever they get knocked down, they do, like the song says, get back up again. So they're a, song, or they're a team um, that really has done well when it comes to responding to short adversities early in this season. And I think they are going to respond to losing in a shootout to Tampa. And they're going to be able to, with Martin Jones and that, play a good game against the Boston Bruins and be able to move the record to 9-4-3 and three, and the Boston Bruins to 8-6-0 and six and oh, if they are able to do such. You just got to play a clean game. You can't put the Bruins on the power play. That's the pivotal key to this game. As long as the Flyers can do that, I think they can beat through and through the Bruins lineup that is not nearly as deep as it used to be through all four lines playing well, I think they can beat them in the 5-on-5 game, and that will be able to propel the Flyers over the top. So this has been a preview to our Flyers against the Boston Bruins tonight. Let's get a win tonight, boys. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content, or on the easy-to-use widget up above, Go Flyers!